what is the wandering father about it's about um a dad looking for a little girl um really starting off simple but the story kind of explains um i thought change up a little bit instead of each character representing you know somebody or something it represents almost a phase in life so that way the main character represents this phase in your life uh blue suede he represents something else a new character trace and she represents something else so that way a lot of different people can resonate with the character i feel like in a in a broader spectrum than normal but really just going about the child and tribulations of life showing people in different ways what people go through so that way you're not just arguing you can watch the show and be like okay i get what you're talking about all right now will that father have a love interest hmm. He, see, he will, but I, I'm not sure. Because see, they, they distract him. The little intro be distracting. You know what I'm saying? Is she going to have a superpower? I don't know. Is she a vixen? Is she really a bad guy? I really haven't decided that yet. Because I don't know I don't know if I'm making like a, a, a Mackie kind of guy or not. Because that might take away from the story. But it could be funny. I'm not sure. That's actually a really good question. Legit, that's not scripted, so I got to think about that. Um, how do you see him developing through his tribulations? Mm, okay, how's it going? Uh, shit, the same way I do. The same way I handle it. Like I said, I want to make this anime almost like a living, a living anime. Cause that's what I'm pretty sure one piece got going on as the creator developed it, as his mindset changed, or some sort of that. I'm pretty sure he had those little adaptations of the story. Um, but saying something like, you know, just any long running anime, but his development is gonna be my development. So that way it's organic. So kind of, you know, I don't mind putting myself out there as an example for people to look on. So that's gonna be his change. All right, and with that development, do you think he will ever plateau? Yeah, because what he represents, um, it has to come to an end. Even though what he represents it's something we all love, something we already need, something that we we act like we don't care about, but that we long for. And the sad part about it is going to have to go at some point in time. So will he plateau? Definitely. Uh, how? I pretty have pretty have a pretty cool way I'm thinking on how, but sadly it will. Sadly it will. How many seasons, or how many, I guess, chapters do you see? Because I don't know, I'm arcs, saga, I, ain't, I don't even know which word I'm going to use. I might use arc, because I rock with arc. It's, you know, I ain't used that much, but it's going to be a few. It's going to run 500 episodes plus, even in my mind. If I got to animate them all myself, it's going to be at least that long. Because right now I have about 150 to 200 pages of information in general. And that's not even food dialogue. That's not even, that's just bullet points and ideas and the direction of the story. Okay, and do you foresee him coming across an antagonist that he will be bested by and have to revisit? Uh, she actually a few times. And with that, it's not going to be what you're thinking, of course. Like, that's one thing I'm switching up. His antagonist will be will be something or something that you're typically not expecting because that's why I feel like I'm kind of switching up a little bit instead of him being like a person we know it's a phase so you know when you're at a certain phase of tribulation in your life your mom could be the villain and she's not even trying to be it could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, it could be your children just overcoming that obstacle but it's like you can't talk to nobody about it because you might sound like a bad parent or you might sound like a bad child or ungrateful but whatever you're dealing with that's that demon or that battle you gotta overcome so with him in particular the things you're gonna deal with, you haven't seen too often on, on many animes. I kind of researched that on purpose like that, so. A bit a little shifty, throw you off a little bit. A little tight and tight and tight. Is there a possibility that you will have multiple endings that could possibly happen? Like some multiverse types? Mmm. Yeah, definitely gonna have to do it. Because you see everybody getting their own plot twisted in their own extended story. Uh, Definitely gonna have probably some alternate endings. 
I don't want to sound cheesy, might do some little time loop, but I'm going to figure out something unique or something dope to where it had this ending. But if that would have happened, it would have went this way, and we all trying to figure out shit. What would have happened if he would have made the move instead of somebody else, or if she would have made the move? So definitely going to do that. And so I said, you, these are actually organic questions I'm not prepared for. And what's actually fire is, I'm already planning that outside outside models. Like, so people got to almost go find them. How do you just go find, like, stuff in the game? Like, you have to go find right, so before be, social media drops. There'll be Easter eggs to look forward to. Easter eggs. So, like, certain things in the show, you watching it, you watching it. Oh, I must have missed something. Nah. I skipped episode 253 and 254 on purpose. And you're like, oh, I think I missed something. But that little two chapter right there. You, you notice that when you go to somebody's page that that's something you buy this edition or something and then once it catch that wave, like, oh, you missed, oh, I got a magazine when I bought this. People go with digging for it. Okay. So a little hidden gem, this shit, you know, a little, little, little knowledge gem, a little hideout. So that's definitely a good asshole. That's definitely hilarious, though. People gonna be pissed. I don't know about that. Okay. 